Hello guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Leo week for uh, December 7th oops, uh, December 7th to December 13th 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling just to remind you that if you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a, a full list um, of my services, uh, there, there you're going to see a link to my website uh, in which you're going to see a full list of my services and their pricing as well at the very front page. And also if you are interested in uh, learning tarot, I'm offering as well a online tarot classes, recorded ones uh, for the time being. So if you do want to go for that as well, you can find it under the tarot classes section in my website. So Leo, the first one which is the topic of your week guys, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the Six of Pentacles, which, stand, which stands for the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic for you. Uh, afterward, it is the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. And that will be the challenge of the Nine of Pentacles. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week, that will be uh, the Knights of Cups. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the impression that you are leaving into people around. That is how people see you. <clears throat> that will be the, uh, the hermit, like I said. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back. And that is going to be judgment. That's, that's quite a big one. Uh, afterwards, it is the positive aspects of the week that is going to help you move forward. And the last one we have... That will be the guidance that Tara is offering to you, Leo, and we have the High Priestess. So without a doubt, we are talking about a sacrifice, leaving a thing behind your back so you can get another thing. We, we can't have, have it all uh, at the end of the day. So with the first few cards here that we do have, Six of Pentacles and Ten of Swords, mm, through the energies of the Six of Pentacles, which are pretty... Um, well, they are strong, but what I was, uh, what I was trying, what I, what I am trying to say, it is that they are kind of like very narrow. I mean, there is not much of a, a margin for for deviation here and there, but instead, it is it is more like a chain of uh, chain of things or chain of events that are to happen, which are going to put you into the situation. And the situation will request from you throughout that particular week to make some kind of a, either a decision or to do something like an action that there will be no return from. Okay, so it's like a final decision or a final action. And that is exactly where the sacrifice that you will have to do are, is going to pretty much be. Because uh, you are going to find it rather difficult to, uh, to first give up or, or, yeah, literally to give up on the thing that uh, you need to sacrifice. And uh, as well, you may kind of like through those energies, you may have the feel, not, not may, but you are going to have the feeling that it's not going to make much of a difference, but it will, okay? Uh, Ten of Swords, uh, I will emphasize on the uh, on the card here. Ten of Swords is, is passing through very swiftly and very quickly. And once you make up your mind or you do what, what you got to do, right? Because th this is pretty much how it is. You got to do what you got to do here. Um, and uh, after that, uh, very, very swiftly and very rapidly, a new dawn of time is going to, uh, is going to start happening to you. So only the, uh, the action and the decision is going to be difficult. And after that, things are going to move on their own accord, naturally progressing, progressingly moving forward. Uh, the symptoms that this is going to happen is when you will have to draw a line, okay? Just the situation uh, reaches such a peak that you, you got to draw a line and, and make a retrospective on what had been achieved thus far, how much you threw in, and etc., etc., either in career or either into, uh, into relationship, and uh, render your verdict how is going to push forward that thing that you are um, that you are deciding in favor or in not not in favor or in generally is, is it really worth proceeding forward with it? 
So uh, the challenges that you are going to have to overcome throughout the week, that is the nine of the challenge of the nine of pentacles. And it's a pretty simple challenge here. And that is about um, realizing where, you, where your development is and what is going to be to your most benefit here. And while you will have a pretty good, uh, pretty good perception, still what you will have to give up from it's um it's going to be uh, how can i say um it will have a sentimental value it's not going to be substantial i was about to say that it will be substantial but no it will have something like a sentimental value um if i have to give an example no different than you know wanting to be with somebody but you still have kind of like feelings or attraction or, or something connection connection is the right word here with some kind of an ex of, uh, of yours and here you will have to sacrifice that connection for the new woman or for the new guy um, or, or it could develop in a way that you know you have been offered a really awesome job but you secretly hope that the old job is gonna rehire you there and you pretty much need to sacrifice that belief for jumping into the new job so it's kind of like taking with full fist force in front of you the leap of development that it is offered to you because it's exactly what is happening seeing into the cards that are coming up further into this reading moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy and that is the knights of cups and this card plays a role more uh, a role here more on the romantic side of the matter and aligns with the example i gave you that card does represents a person that for that person you are everything that they have ever wanted uh, for the time being that is okay so that person holds the dreams of their heart in front of their uh, in front of them and they are moving only into that direction and uh, pretty much it appears that you are the dreams of their heart so you do have a uh, the very least rather a faithful faithful companion now the problem with the knights of cups it is that they tend to promise big things without really having the means to accomplish them and for them that's not a problem because they really mean it so the intentions are, are, are true and they are big but in some cases they don't have the means once again to to reach it but should we talk about career with this card here the knights of, the knight not the knights of pentacles but knights of cups i'm sorry a bit distracted so knights of cups in terms of career that is to be a worker or rather like a co-worker or a person that you do know that will work with you restlessly until you know you you, you get that leap into development in the back so that is again a, a follower uh, and an ally as well somebody that will not be afraid to get their hands dirty in order for in order for you to reach certain benefits so moving next, we do have uh, how people are going to look at you and what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around. And that is going to be the uh, hermit. So with the hermit, guys, uh, people are going to, when they look at you, they're going to see you being fixated on one particular fulcrum, on one particular point. Uh, and they're going to see that you are uh, putting all that you got in it. That may not be true, okay? That is how people see you. And that's why the tendency of those around you, friends, uh, person of interest as well, family, is to leave you alone with your thing until you do develop it or until you do, um, uh, how can I say, until you, uh, until you do reach a certain progress into it. Uh, as well, people are going to see you very uh, wise and also uh, that you are drawing from your intelligence so you can make the best decisions out there considering the Ten of Swords that we do have at the start, which will most likely require this, uh, uh, making that um, un unrevocable or irrevocable, unrevocable decision that is uh, looming on the horizon for throughout, uh, for throughout the week itself. And uh, with the Hermit here, you definitely have the luxury to take your time to decide what to do, but you cannot postpone the decision in a sense of the not taking it at all for throughout the week, hoping that the universe or the circumstances is going to take it from you. They are going to, but that's the difference in between sacrifice and a loss, okay? Sacrifice it is when you do make a decision. 
loss, it is when that decision had been made for you and you definitely don't want to be on the losing side. Moving next, we do have the obstacles that are going to hold you back and that is judgment. It's pretty peculiar that we do have it here. And uh, to me only speaks about the impression or rather like the fantasies or the undeveloped potential of the thing or the enterprise or the experience that you will have to sacrifice secretly hoping that it's uh, it's pretty much going to uh, somewhere along the uh, along the way in the future you may have a second chance to to uh, pretty much get on with it and uh, and do what you couldn't do at that particular point and also judgment it's about in this particular position is about the uh, the uh, the false impression that you are letting go of um, how can i say of the only thing that matters for you and uh, like i said or like the reading showed you're actually replacing what it seemed to be the most important thing for you with truly the most important thing for you and that leads us to the uh, next card here which stands as the positive aspects that are helping you throughout the week and that is the star card so a uh, preconditional one in this particular position and it only plays out if you do uh, make that decision or if you do take the actions or if you do perform the actions that it is required from you in order to set that new dawn of time to uh, embark into your life. Then what happens here is the star card unfolds and as the star card unfolds, if that's about your uh, intimate life, then you are to face an unfolding law from the suitor, uh, your husband or a wife, um, I'm sorry, your partner in life and etc, etc. Should that regards to work, then your standards and ideals are to be uh, fulfilled, okay? And that work, it's, it, it will be a thing that you are going to look forward to, but again, it only can happen if, um, if you do make the sacrifice of you know the thing that's it's making you feel bad but you're still okay holding on into hoping that is going to improve on its own accord and you you sever ties with it and you move to the to the good thing in life the star card usually plays a role like a, like again like a, like a new era and it's it's no coincidence that comes after the tower card okay because as the tower uh, represents chaos and upheaval into one's life that means that this chaos in this upheaval it's over and the the worst has passed and now you can start taking care, taking care for yourself you can start taking care for the people you love you can start taking care for your career for your love life and etc etc but once again if you can sever the upheaval and you may love the upheaval as well so that is where the sacrifice is you may love your job your previous job for example but your previous job may treated you like garbage and uh, you can't do much about it can you so you just have to let it go and the last one we have here that is going to be the high priestess which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you and that points that you do feel and know what you gotta do okay uh, but because there is a huge contradictory in between the high priestess and the ten of swords one is your uh, inner voice that is dictating what you gotta do but with the Ten of Swords, your mind is struggling against it, okay? Trying to make an excuse, trying to give yourself a reason to keep up with the old, not allowing the new to come into your life. Uh, the guidance here is that you need to listen to your inner, inner voice and inner wisdom, which is very, very similar to the intuition. I'm not gonna dive into it, but it seems like an intuition. So if you, if you would prefer follow your intuition you can never go wrong with it according to this card into this position and the last one is that you need to know that after this sacrifice and after you know the uh, irreversible uh, actions or irrevocable decisions that you are to make what awaits you it's uh, a blessing for a long long run so that being said uh, leo that was your weekly general tarot reading for december 
7th to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.